What's good, y'all? So in this video, I'm going to talk about an important tool while practicing for coding interviews. This tool is called Python Tutor. And then you can just type it in pythontutor.com. And essentially all it does is it executes your code visually. So this is very important for people who are visual, but just needs to see how code works with regards to how it's executed line by line. This is so helpful. And I use it a lot when it comes to practicing for coding interviews. So I'm going to go to do an example. I'm going to do an example so you all can see exactly how it works. So let's get straight into it. So the problem that I have right here is called reverse string. So lead code easy and it's a two pointer uh, problem. So uh, those are just terms you just need to know. So like if you see a problem, you already know what you should be doing. So in this one, I already knew that you got to do two pointers. And so what I usually do is write like all like I write it out first. I say it out loud. And then eventually I write the code. I'm not going to go through this whole problem, um, but I just want to show you all how this works. So essentially this problem just says write a function that reverses a string and the input string is given as an array of characters S. And then you must do this by modifying the input array in place with O of one extra memory. And then as you see an example right here, uh, is the input S equals hello. And they're all strings, so H E L L O, and then when output should be O L L E H, which is just a flip. And the same thing here, um, as you can see. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how this works with regards to a Python tutor and why it's so effective. So I'm copying this code. I already did the problem, so I have to worry about that. And then I'm going to right here because I use JavaScript. Now I use ES6, and like I said, uh, that'll be very helpful and because it's up to date and so now i'm going to run this code execute this code visually and so it I like how it shows you the steps that it takes right here so it's 20 steps and it literally will show you how to go through it so right here as soon as i click it it tells you what the the line that just got executed and then it tells you the next line to execute so the next line to execute is my uh console dialog so now it brings it down to an array right here so now look at it that is nice to look at and then also now it's going to give me more pointers so i have a point one and it's equal to zero and point two which is zero one two three four it's going to give me four right here so bam point two is going to be four so now i'm going to execute a while loop you already know while loops that's my thing, you know what I'm saying? I do it. People say I'm, I'm the best at it, but you know, I like doing my while loops. But so right here, I just have my while loops. So I'm saying while point one is less than point two, then keep this loop going. Gotta keep this thing, keep, gotta keep it going. Can't stop it, just gotta keep it going. And then once point, point two is either equal to or less than point one, let's break this code and we need to return the string simple as that so while we're in this loop right here i created i declared a variable which is called temp temp is going to actually store temporary string right here so i'm saying let temp equal the string of point one the string of point one is h so guess what temp is going to do it's going to store that h the next thing I'm going to do is get the string of point one to equal string of point two. So all that means is that this O right here, this is string of point two. It's going to turn into Z. This is going to be the O right here. So this string is just going to move right here. It's still going to stay there right here for what this was executing next. But for the time being, it's going to be right here. So if I click next, Bam, that O, that H that was right there, it changed to an O. But now we got to think about what's going to be next. Next thing I have to do is now I have to change this. So, but what, guess what we have? We have that temporary uh, value right here. So now we can make H and we can convert the string of point two is now going to equal this temporary value, which is H. So now if I execute it, bam, it switches. So now the H was at the zero index but now let's have the four index 
and now the O, which is at the four index, now goes to the, z the zero index. So now executed perfectly. And now the last thing I have to do is just increment 0.1 and decrement 0.2. And now look at that. It's coming together. You see this well on machine that Python tutor shows it just looks so great. And then you go right up here and you just repeat the process. Now we're doing one and now we're doing three. And then we're just going through it. All we're doing is swapping those two now. So as you can see, I'm going to just go back because I was kind of fast. As you can see, we have the temporary value E right here now. And then we're switching it. That's L and that our E is going to be over here. And the same thing, we increment 0.1, decrement 0.2. But now we got to the point where now 0.1 is 2 and 0.2 is 2, which means that 0.2 is no longer greater than 0.1. So what that means is that we break that loop. And now that we break that loop, we just go to return a string. And now look, we got O L L E H. You come over here and you see the example that they want us to have. Hello turns it to O L L E H. So that means that uh, if we submit this code, it's going to give us the answer and that we executed this correctly. So I will show you all right here just to make sure you run the code and it's the same thing you see both test cases are correct and if you submit it it will be correct so this is what i mean by uh by the code being correct and this showing you exactly like how it works so i really hope you all enjoyed this video try to make it real interesting and give you all something more in detail about how to be more effective as a developer. And uh, I really enjoyed this. Uh, I will make more videos like this to show you all that. Look, I actually could code y'all just letting you all know. So, uh, and give you all some valuable tips that you all can use so that you all can be the best programmers you could be. So I hope you enjoyed this. It's better. Ciao.